Hi, it's Jan from the mountain. This week, I went thrifting in a newly discovered shop, for me anyway, in Luca. I found it on Google Maps. And I also bring you a knitting update. And then I'll show you the haul. I got quite a good haul from the vintage shop in Luca. Spring has sprung and the sun is out today. It makes you feel alive. Everything is so warm and bright and it makes me want to just get out there and go thrifting. This thrift shop is not the usual one I go to in Luca. It's actually much better. We were mesmerised by the glasses actually, we were there for about half an hour. It's so clean, it's so well laid out and I couldn't believe it. It's quite a big place and we had a good, we must have been there for a couple of hours actually. I am one for a jacket as I said in the last video and they had really good selection of jackets. It was winter clothes here. It, there's nothing out for spring and summer yet. I love this jacket. I'm really into tweedy jackets. But I'm also really into these um, jackets that are a little bit more dressy for the evening. This was lovely. The prices were good. Uh, this is a ruffled one I wasn't sure about but it had a velvet collar which I always think looks really nice. I came away without a jacket because I wasn't certain. But I was very impressed with the shop. The next day though it wasn't so sunny and I didn't feel so energetic. So the only thing to do was to just settle in by the fire and do some knitting. The white you can see in the distance, the big white line, is rain that is heading our way. Fascinating on the mountain, you only see the weather coming in. There's a cloud which is quite low, it's really strange, very atmospheric. The rain is going to hit us soon, so I'd better get knitting. I've lit the fire, I've got my knitting ready, I'm in my studio and it's very cosy at the moment. I've done a little bit more of my sleeveless pullover, I'm doing colour work so I have several colours on the go. It's not a fast process, you kind of get into a rhythm but it, the wool yarn just tangles a little bit sometimes and I, I don't mind actually because I thoroughly enjoy making these for me it's not a race to see how many I can get done but more like a pleasure where I can just sit and relax and take pleasure in each stitch that I knit and it just relaxes me and takes the everyday worries away. I love my own spun wool. It's all about sustainability, isn't it? The wool is a natural fibre, it's breathable and it's recyclable and it upsets me so much at the amount of waste that we get from, it's not the shepherd's fault, it's lack of demand. A lot of wool here is wasted because after the sheep are sheared there's absolutely no demand for the wool and I've heard stories that it is thrown into landfill because nobody wants it so consequently I have been able to buy it at a very low price for spinning 
I've been given some in fact. Here my colour work is coming on, you can see. I did go for the dark green instead of the gold. There is gold in it, substituting pink. I tried to weave it in at the back just to keep it looking neat, but I'm not always successful. Um, here's my pattern, it looks very chic. I can't get closer, unfortunately. Now, my wool is a lot chunkier and my needles, I could, didn't have small enough needles. So I've had to reduce the pattern and just do this, the smaller section in the middle. But it just means that my pattern has come out bigger than it actually looks on the page. And instead of it being on the waist, I think I'm going to have to do it a little bit longer. And I, I'll style it with a belt, I think. And um, I, I think it will look quite, quite um, country lady once it's finished. As I mentioned just before, I didn't go with the gold colour. And I went for a substituted, what in the pattern was a dark brown with a dark green. And the gold I put in because I haven't got any of my own spun wool in pink. So I thought I'd do it in gold and it actually looks, as it's knitting up, it looks quite rustic and so I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Um, it's, as I mentioned, it's a long process, it's not going to be ready quickly and I love knitting but I unfortunately don't have all day to do this but I try and get lots of knitting done of an evening when I can just relax. Also I can't get into a really good flow with my knitting uh, because I'm having to weave in and check the pattern and untangle the wool <laughs> but I, I still enjoy it. Um, and I can't wait to actually see the finished sweater, well, pull over, and to be able to wear it. I'm going to show you the haul I got from newly discovered shop in Luca. I was so impressed with the glassware. I didn't buy any. My daughter bought some, so I'm going to show you some of her things. Well, the glasses that she bought. These were beautiful. I liked them because they had um, a purple coloured um, piece at the bottom. They are hand painted. They looked as though they're craft painted actually, I, I, lo I love the purple at the bottom. And they're outlined, whoops, outlined the flowers in uh, a kind of a gold. They cost three euros fifty each, which are quite expensive really, but they are hand painted. These crystal cut glasses, my daughter has wanted these for ages. She got six for six euros and she's thrilled thrilled to bits with these and I, they're very elegant and they sparkle and as you heard they make a nice clinking sound when you cheers and when you toast each other. One of my favourite buys there was this embroidery ring. I had one of these when I was younger, just a tiny bit bigger. It cost me 5 85 and I I've always been so sad I, I haven't got my big embroidery ring anymore and I saw this and I just thought I must get it um, because I'd like to try some embroidery projects I haven't done some for a long time so I was thrilled with that pie and I hope to be sharing some embroidery projects with you sometime in the future now I bought this woolen skirt I had a velvet front kick pleat and a little back vent it's got a self-tying belt I loved 
the velvet lining of the waistband. It just looks such good quality and it feels very well made. So I, I couldn't resist, couldn't resist it. And it's lined as well. So it cost me crumbs, you know, I can't remember. But I think it cost me about three euros or three euros fifty. And it's such a good quality skirt. I also found this very pale blue, it doesn't show up very well on camera, but I got this pale blue blouse and it's silk. I just love the way it ripples and the fabric has a kind of a wave in the weave and it's got little polka dots on. It ripples beautifully and I think this was tailor made. It's all finished perfectly the way it's sewn. It's just beautiful and although this is the back I can also wear it this way round. But I have worn it the other way round since I bought it and it looks very elegant. So I'm absolutely delighted. This cost me, I think, €2.50. I don't think it was any more than that and it looks great with my skirt. It has a waistband, I can tuck it in but the waistband can also go over the skirt or trousers. You know what, I think that would style really well with my sleeveless pullover that I'm knitting. I bought these coasters for very little, just over a euro. They remind me of my mum. My mum had coasters like this and they, they look unused and they look new. So I just threw them in the basket. So I'm delighted with that. All in all, it was a great haul. My daughter also got some, got a sweater, I think, and um, a thin velvet jacket, which I'll maybe show you next time. Oh, I got these as well. These were a pair of Todd's little ankle boots in brown suede leather. And I spotted them. I paid 10 euros for these. I just, they haven't got a size that I can see, but I popped my feet in and they felt wonderfully comfortable. So um, the original price was 20 euros, but they were reduced to 10. And normally you pay quite a lot of money here in Italy for this type of shoe. So I'm pleased with it. So they came home with me as well. So there's my haul for this week. Absolutely thrilled with it. I'm definitely going back to get some glasses, some more glassware from the shop near Luca. Thank you for watching my video right to the end. Please like it if you did and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. Please also hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know about my new videos. See you next time.